Good morning to everyone. Welcome to our Apti Plus Academy. I hope all of you are well. Acha, ami rage tomade YouTube je channel. Shikhane ami Apti Plus er as a English faculty. Upcoming WBCS tomade je exams ashe. Yeder jono tomra preparation nicho. To shikhane ami content wise, topic wise, ami kichu exercise. Uh, model questions, I mean, the discuss kora start kore I think uh, at first, amra uh, prothome uh, tomade uh, parts of speech. Jeta ami first je boda tomade aloshona kore chile bang uh, total competitive exams, including uh, WBCS. Ichara uh, unna no others je exams uh, West Bengal PSC under e bang parallel staff selection commission ma bank total competitive exam er ekta general. Syllabus guideline and first to the Islam. Ebong Shekhane, Mother Syllabus, the guideline, Shekhan objective, Japat, when a preliminary level to Shekhane Ami Grammar J section to Rocha objective, the Grammar J zone to Tar Ami protect a segment like improvement, all of you know, like correction, spotting error, and sentence filler. All the three segments I have already discussed, I have already given you some model questions. And at the same time, I've given you model answers also. Apart from that, uh, in my last class, as far as my uh, memory is concerned, I think I gave you some model questions based on idioms. And at the same time, one word expressions. Uh, the questions are set uh, in MCQ mode. And all of you know that in vocabulary zone, uh, you'll have to uh, memorize all the questions uh, you will have to learn by heart. Kanigulo mukosu na kulle memorize na kulle to get common is very difficult. So that's why I mean, part of two class I think idiom er MCQ type questions. Ebang parallel one word expression er MCQ type questions. I mean, tomorrow they see. Tomorrow I am going to show. I am model answer. I am going to show. And today we are WBCS prelims. It is a very leading actor topic. Bola je. A potential actor topic. That is phrasal verb, group verb. I think I may can screen share with all of you. Uh, uh, just attempt, protege. At first, you go through all the questions and try to solve the correct or the proper alternative. All of you know that phrasal verbs uh, is included in grammar zone also, and in all competitive exams, for all leading competitive exams, you know, in grammar zone. Specifically in correction part or improvement part or sentence filler part, phrasal verbs may frequently come. That's why you'll have to memorize it like idioms and one or also. Okay. So, our active plus is regular based, regular course. So, you have study material. So, definitely methodical, methodically or strategically protect a subject here, content wise, chapter wise. Uh, SM to Mrapacho, I will get SM of all the leading subjects, and at the same time, model questions are set, are given there, and at the same time, I will face mock exam. That means uh, mock for WBCS upcoming preliminary exam. Okay. And not only that, uh, apart from study material, in each and every class, a practice set is solved. Protect a class, offline mode class, even online mode class, I'm like to go to practice set solve good. She, even Tasha, the study material to my Thakchi for different subjects. So uh, immediately, I'm on Munuha, they don't waste time, will get admission immediately and uh, start and start preparation without delay. So, I mean, today, today, uh, discuss Kurbo that is phrasal verb. Phrasal verb plays a very important role, a very crucial role, not only in BCS but in all competitive exams. Okay. So, I mean, I have already uh, laid out, I have already given uh, some group verbs or some phrasal verbs. Each and every question has four options. We'll first go through all the questions and try to solve the perfect answer, the appropriate answer. Okay. Now, I'm starting. The first question is his ruin was brought as his own folly. Right. So can I, there are four options. You just tell me uh, which alternative is the correct 
Can you tell me? I think answer is option A. Right? Brought about by his own folly. Brought about by his own folly. Brought about means cause or happen actually. Yeah? <laughs> right? Question number two. He brought Das a great honor. He brought Filler a great honor. In, of, O, double, of, and about. Okay. Tell me the answer, the right answer, the appropriate answer. Can you tell me? Brought off. Brought off means to achieve victory, to overcome, to win, right? He brought off a great honor. Brought off means achieve, major achievement. the same meaning. Uh, whenever you uh, prepare yourself for, uh, for any exam, actually, uh, as WBCS is ahead of you, I uh, will um, get ready. Take a check. You must prepare yourself for vocabulary also. Can you tell me uh, two idioms which have the same meaning, which means same, and which has affinity, which has similarity with this particular phrasal verb? Can you tell me? Come off with flying colors. And at the same time, carry the day. You know, carry the day and come off with flying colors. Both idioms have the same meaning. That is, uh, to get victory, to overcome or to win. Right? Question number two, answer is brought off. Right? Brought off. Now, let us come to the next question. That is, I have been brought as by my mother. I have been brought as my mother. Very, very important, which is frequently used in a sentence. Tell me the answer. I have been brought up, right? I have been brought up. Brought up means rear, educate. Rear or educate. I have been educated. I have been nurtured. I have been nourished by my mother. Brought up. Next question. He was called as governor's house. Tell me the answer. He was called as governor's house. Can you tell me the answer? He was called at governor's house. Call it means visit a place. Go and visit a place, right? To go and visit a place. You know, some group verbs have dual meaning. Okay. Whenever you uh, prepare, whenever you uh, memorize all the phrasal verbs, definitely you must follow the application of those phrasal verbs. Because if you don't See, if you don't realize, fill the usage of phrasal verbs, you can't use them in your writing skill, in your descriptive part, right? Because all these are ornaments to enhance your, to boost up your writing skill. These are very important for a preliminary exam. You'll have to memorize all of them. And at the same time, whenever you crack preliminary exam, preliminary exam crack whenever you face men's exam, uh, not only uh, in my English, not only in WBCS, but in other exams, state PSA also. Like PSA clerks in men's, PSA miscellaneous men, WBCS men, staff selection commission, CHSL men's, uh, MTS men, CGLT3, in all the competitive exams, the writing skill is mandatory. Descriptive part is there. Okay. And to improve, to enhance your writing skill, you must put, put forth your highest effort. That is, your answer must be distinguished from others. That's why you'll have to use some ornaments, group verbs, appropriate prepositions, all are ornaments, all are used to decorate a sentence, right? Uh, question number five, boss called as explanation from the employees, right? What is, uh, what is the correct answer? Which one will be the right alternative? Call for, correct. Call for means demand. Call for means demand, right? Next question, the workers called as a strike. The workers called as a strike. Tell me the answer. What will be the correct answer? At first thing, and tell me. Answer is called off. Called off. Called off means abandon. The workers called off their strike. Abandon. Right. Next one.
क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन टेल मी इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू कॉल डैश स्वीट मेमोरीज ऑफ चाइल्डहुड इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू कॉल डैश स्वीट मेमोरीज ऑफ चाइल्डहुड कैन यू टेल मी वेरी वेरी कॉमन वेरी वेरी कॉमन क्वेश्चन ओके इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू कॉल ऑफ स्वीट मेमोरीज ऑफ चाइल्डहुड कॉल ऑफ मीन्स रिकलेक्ट रिमेम्बर राइट रिकलेक्ट टू रिमेम्बर The answer is call off. Now next question: When did this accident came? When did this accident came? Tell me the appropriate answer. Came about. Came about is the correct answer. Came about. When did this accident came about? Came about means also happen. Come about. Come off. Both have the same meaning. Take place or happen. Right. Next one. Question number nine. I came as a stranger yesterday. What is the correct answer? Came across. Came across means meet by chance. You also know another phrasal verb, group verb, which uh, has the same meaning. Run into. I ran into my old friend on the way. Rasta amar shadek jono purno bondhu shadhe dakhol. I ran into my old friend. Ran into means also came across. Meet by chance. Right. Last question. May you come as five o'clock? Last question means. I mean, last question. So, I'm going to discuss it. Uh, may you come as five o'clock? May you come at? Come at? Come at means a rich. Come at means a rich. Okay. In this way, you will have to remember all the phrasal verbs, group verbs. All of you know that. Group verbs means you know phrasal verbs or group verbs means verb plus preposition. You know group verbs. Group verb means verb plus preposition. Okay. Verb plus preposition, and all the phrasal verbs act like verb. That's why uh, you don't get nervous whenever you want to use them, because after the subject, you have to put the verb, because you know the syntax s v o plus rest part. Okay, and here after the subject, you may free freely use phrasal verbs, but be careful. Appropriate preposition is different because appropriate preposition means you know uh, preposition preposition plus other parts of speech plus other parts of speech correct other parts of speech so that's why appropriate preposition though preposition is common but they may use they may be used with either noun. Or a verb, or adverb, or adjective. Like, uh, I'm telling a question. I am fond of sweets. Okay, fond of you know, it's a appropriate preposition. Fond of means uh, liking. I am fond of sweets. Here, fond of is fond is adjective form, and it is followed by preposition of, and it ultimately forms appropriate preposition. Like, okay. But if I say, if I tell you that you use fondness for in a sentence, sentence structure will be different. I have fondness for sweets. I have fondness for sweets. Like fondness is used here as noun, and in my earlier sentence, fond is used as adjective. That's why, whenever you want to use appropriate preposition, at first, you must remember in which. Uh, role they uh, play, they act. Appropriate prepositions have different roles in a sentence. But uh, group verb or phrasal verb is is little bit different uh, regarding the usage in a sentence. Okay. 
in this way you have to prepare yourself for any competitive exams tumra janu je in last exam uh, that is 2021 maximum questions majority of the questions uh, come from vocabulary section grammar uh, actually grammar john grammar uh, part uh, played a little a little bit role a little bit uh, significant role uh, in the last exam but you know uh, wbcs has prescribed a specific syllabus a particular syllabus okay transformation you know uh, similarly you know um, narration change change of speech change of voice okay spotting errors all these are dominant uh, segments dominant contents in grammar but in but in each and every year the parity of questions the standard of questions is a little bit different why because in some years actually you, uh, you follow that uh, maximum questions come from grammar zone in some years maximum questions come from vocabulary zone but right? like uh, that's why i think uh, it will be it will be a uh, sagacious decision it will be a judicious decision if you practice at a stretch rampant in a rampant way all the questions all the questions whether uh, they may belong to grammar or vocabs and you have to score above 15 out of 25 otherwise it will be a little bit burdensome for you to crack preliminary exam that's why english is very very important to crack preliminary exam it it plays an important role definitely no subject uh is less important each and every subject has crucial role has pivotal role uh, in cracking the preliminary exam and i think in all my classes i'm giving you some specimen questions some model questions and i'll uh, and 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 i'm discussing each and every topic separately completely in this way you just prepare and after all i think self preparation self preparation is good but if in your preparation orientation is uh, is not there orientation is not there then your preparation will go in vain that's why you need a complete preparation and that will be possible if you study in a in any institute and apt plus you know all of you know it's a uh, definitely institute of repute and that's why you come you definitely come and get uh, enroll okay thanks